All right, I'm gonna be going over the Meerkat's uh, coordinate system. I thought it was a little intuitive, but apparently not. Okay, so say I have these objects in Meerkat, and then I move them over here. This little dot here is the laser head's position. It's currently at a homed position. Now, if I from here go and click start, the laser head will go over here and run the project. Now, if I change the navigation and I move the object over here, or I'm moving the laser head rather, now the laser head is located here. Now, if I start the project, it will go to the exact same spot it would have before and do the exact same thing it would have before. The position of the laser head is irrelevant to the running of the job. This is supposed to be the entire bed. That's why in preferences, bed dimensions, this is so that when you change it, it will change the bed dimensions such that you can properly set the size of your bed dimensions. If you put an object here, it'll still be able to run it because it knows how large your bed is. But moreover, it knows where the laser head is. So if the laser head's here, and you put the project over here, even though the laser head starts here, it'll still run the project from the actual position within the field. This uh, grid is your laser bed. Now, if you, for example, have a jig here and you wanna call this uh, some other position, zero, zero, the start, like you're not gonna go above the jig, then in preferences, there's a shift home position. So say I set current to my shift home position and then it sets this position here as my home position. Then I load up Navigator and I home it. Now I'm actually located here. What happens is it homes the device and then jumps here, but it doesn't say that it jumps here. So now it will all be off shifted by that same amount. And then if I set current again, and then go to the navigation home again, it'll set the home point back to the exact corner where the end stops hit. No matter where you put this and then start the job, it will always start the job and execute it here. Say you have a second project. Say you're gonna do a little raster here. You're gonna set the uh, steps to three and just run it. Uh, let's say you convert the one bit okay and then now you're running these two items so actually let me change this to properly something that will classify the items now it'll run the image first and then it will run this item here where in the bed this image is located relative to the rest of this is where the laser head will go to now if you navigate here and you say go to the corner here the laser head will move to the corner and then you can move the object with the laser head that's just so that you can center it it doesn't matter where the laser head is so if the laser head is over here and you start the job the job will still jump over here and then execute this and then execute vector items here but if you move them it'll execute this then execute this it doesn't care where it is relative to the laser head let me just do file new so now I locate this item. Now, even though my laser head is here, if I start the job, it'll jump up here, which is going to be located 36 off the X and 37 off the Y. And even though my laser head is here, when the job starts, it'll jump up here. But here, look, now what if I move the job over here and I do file, save. Now compare this to Whisper, reload the design. Now it'll take a little bit to reload. Has to send it out to Inkscape and then get it back in the picture. Takes a little bit. Reloading, reloading, reloading. Okay, this is the size of the frame that I give it. So when I save the file with the save, it saves the size of the frame in the actual SVG itself. So when I load it up in Whisperer, 
it actually gives me something that is literally the size of your K40. So it sets the size of the K40 properly. So now if I started this in uh, Whisperer, it would jump down here because that's where it starts, run all the processes, and then jump back to the corner because it doesn't save the location. It doesn't know where it is. When you do some of these items, it has to change the position of everything because it doesn't know where it starts. So when you start a job in Whisperer, you're starting the 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 position of the laser head is position zero zero in meerkat that's completely different zero zero is located here it's always located here it doesn't matter where the laser head is if you move the laser head you have to rehome it or it'll lose its positions but you can move this position anywhere and it will execute perfectly fine and you can run multiple copies of it so say you wanted another one located here then another one and you put it here and then another one and you put it here and say you have all of those things then when you execute the job it'll do all of the uh what is this little raster yeah, raster oh yeah because it's rasters the little thing it'll do all the rasters for all of the jobs because uh actually it needs reclassification Refresh classification. Okay, so here, uh, when it executes, it will run a raster of all of these jobs. So it'll run a raster that goes all the way through all of these. Then it will engrave all the outside lines. Then it will run a cut on all of the outside lines, but it'll run them exactly where you leave them here. It doesn't matter that the laser head's located here currently because the laser head's location is irrelevant to your position. It, you, you don't have to move the laser head except to do something like this where you wanna move all the objects simultaneously so that you get them locked in exactly where you need them. Okay, and then this is a little bit screwy, so let's, now I messed these up, so let's go and say reset user changes. Oof, that's right, I moved all of these so the actual user locations are different. Okay, well, there's a whole bunch of overlapped items here. Uh, that's basically it. Understand that the laser head position is not the position in the field. And when you save the items in an actual SVG file, let me actually load this up. Open with WordPad. Okay, this is a little bit cryptic, but uh, the SVG here saves the size of the uh, height in the actual uh, SVG so your laser bed height your laser bed width and it sets them to properly run so when you load up Inkscape it will save these operation things so it saves all your operation data so that it'll reload hopefully that is understood thanks for watching